Hey everybody, welcome back to Quality Time. So, in with the news, of course we missed a week, um, sort of a bunch of different collaborative problems led to that. Uh, the closest and most proximal one being that it took me about four or five hours to actually upload the stream because for some reason I decided to upload it in full instead of time-lapsing it, but that was the Spring, Wells dev, the Spring Realms dev stream, which you can now go check out on the channel in full, which is a rarity for many reasons, <laughs> namely that one. Um, but also, the Friday before that, the reason I did the Spring Realms stream, in fact, um, Litmontel's main hard drive crashed. Um, it's actually still technically functional, it just has a lot of issues. Um, but we now have a brand new drive for that, and I had to spend like the entire weekend sitting here back up, so I didn't really have time to catch up, and my entire buffer got erased because it took until like Sunday for the drive to even arrive. Um, so I've been playing catch up for the past few days quite heavily, and consequently, that meant that we didn't really have a quality time last week. Sorry about that. Especially to my brother, because I know, that, I know this is the only series that my brother actually watches. Hi, Ed. Uh, so yes, beyond that, I have been furiously rebuilding my buffer, so if something goes slightly awry, pretty much blame that. The knock-on effects to my process are scarcely hard to imagine. But anyways, on that note, moving on to the schedule. So on Thursday night, of course, at 11pm BST, we now have Midnight Goo, where we'll be potentially finishing off Grey Goo. Um, also, I've recently stole Moobots, so hey, we now actually have commands in the chat. Hooray! On Friday, we're going to have an instance of Edgington, where we do a little bit of infantry management, namely because we have a new one. On Saturday, I get down to business a little bit and undermine with some work on Schnoz's new shop. And we have D&D Anima, because we slightly missed one, but either way, we have D&D Anima, which means I get to play, apparently, my child, my child catcher character. Then on Sunday, we have XCOM 2, with the new series format, where I'm now splitting the episodes up into mission and management sections. On Tuesday, we have Dungeon Mega, with the storage concerns being filled out, and also we have York Dwarfs Live number 56, at 9pm BST. And then, finally, on Wednesday, we have Edgerton, with... The second consecutive new arrival, blame the massive food storage. Moving on to the questions then, uh, these are of course drawn from the comments section of the preceding video, so if you have any questions you'd like me to try and answer next time, leave them in the comments below. First question of the day comes from Flixamon, do you have a photographic memory? Um, I don't think I do? It wouldn't surprise me terribly to find out I did, but my memory is terrible, so I kind of doubt it. Silly Dude asks, if someone traveled to a universe with different time mechanics, would they notice at all? In terms of the lying verse specifically, um, the answer is no. Uh, the universes are sort of continuous in regards to each other, which is to say that all universes are happening simultaneously, but they're happening at different rates. Um, it's sort of like acceleration. So if you pass between one, you feel it momentarily, but once you get up to speed, everything's fine. So. You'd expect to see, like, someone coming in from a fast universe to a universe who was slow on being momentarily like the Flash or something. Uh, but then think would seemingly, from their perspective, speed up and they'd be fine. Kyle Dunn asks, are there any lines that are aware of their existence as videos made by a skinny dude and his mates? There's definitely a few of them that are aware of the fourth wall, but I don't know if they'd necessarily describe me as a skinny, or even a dude, actually, there's a few that don't think that. Um, but yes, there are a few Deadpool lines, if that's what you're after. And that's it for this week, so hopefully I'll catch you next week. Hopefully nothing will go awry that time, and hope you've all enjoyed. I'll see you all 